patient is virtue. If you haven't got it, be a plant's mother to these uh, succulents and you will be. Hello guys, this is Rose from my home and garden. And today's video, we're gonna do some uh, propagation and repotting from these succulents. This succulent is Graptopetalum amethystinum lavender feebles. I hope it's, I pronounce it right. This is our uh, propagation area, which all my uh, leaf uh, from mother plant I have to propagate. And uh, this shelves is uh, get enough sunlight uh, from seven o'clock in the morning up to twelve o'clock, and then I put the proper soil mixture to as well on these shelves for our uh, leaves propagation. And it's really about time now to relocate all our leaves uh, been propagated for uh, another new pot or glaze pot that we're gonna use today. So what we're gonna do is take all these uh, succulents uh, leaf propagation and repot it in our glaze pot. They are so healthy and I'm confident that they need to relocate now just the two of them not them all and see the mother plant that you can see it's sealed now already the mother and the babies are uh, turn up really good and healthy there we go now guys we are here in our uh, repotting area and this is the tree place pot that we're gonna use first procedure i have to put this mess and the cocktail and some mixture in this glaze pot like we normally do and then put this uh, propagated leaves on top of this soil it's not too deep just uh, right because the mother leaves is still uh, carrying the baby we're not uh, gonna uh, separate them yet and leave it like that till it's really full recover and that's simple to uh, repot these uh, propagated leaves uh, uh, lavender pebbles and this Korean uh, lavender pebbles are different succulents from the two that we've been uh, took off from uh, our propagation area I bought this uh, $20 before and I indicate the videos that related to these uh, succulents And this is the longest uh, leaf propagation I ever made because it took me four months to have this uh, little pup. So we have to be careful on this uh, one because it cost me $20 and but it's worth it I think and I hope. <laughs> Our procedure to propagate this one is different from the other two that uh, we propagate before. And this one is just like this on top of the soil and I'm gonna put some uh, top dressing later on and that's it because it's still little the pups that come out from these succulents and from this spot I take the chance to as well to propagate this uh, three leaves uh, pull apart from our repotting uh, from mother plant that accidentally come off so it's not gonna go to waste because it's gonna be a uh, propagation uh, as well so that's one good about succulents nothing uh, or no one uh, can be uh, 
go to waste always something we can do about it I'm gonna do my favorite part our top dressing is the maven uh, stone there's a nutrien and benefit of this uh, top dressing too as well for our succulents that's why i love them and i love to use this as a, my top dressing all the time recently i reckon that it's really good for our plants And now here we are to our small nursery here beside our uh, whimsical garden where I put all my uh, repotting and uh, all the succulents that need extra care. On this uh, area is uh, a little bit uh, more sunlight during uh, 7 o'clock in the morning up to 12 o'clock. The sun is the sunlight. I meant to say it's not really harm on this area which is good to our plants that's all for today's guys and hope you learned something from this video and please don't forget to subscribe bye